in this how to we are going to learn that how to access user control property in the content page or to the master page this is also very frequently a uh, faced uh, scenario by the developer where what they want is that uh, they want to access the user control property in the content page and based on that property they want to pass a certain value to the user control so that user control can process its its data based on that values so we are going to learn uh, that how to do that so for that what we are going to do is that we are going to create one ASP uh, sorry uh, user control and here is my user control as you can see my menu dot ASCX and on this user control we have kept one label LBL message and in the code behind of the user control what I am doing is that I am declaring two property the first property is the category ID and the second property is the category name and uh, in the page load event of the user control we are writing uh, lbl message dot text to category id whatever will be passed to this uh, property and the category name whatever will be passed to that property so basically what it will do uh, in the lbl message label we will write the value of category id and the category name property and now uh, let us go to the another steps so where we have we are going to use the uh, user control on the page so let me use this user control on this page so here in order to use as you already know in the use the register directives so here I have used register directives and I have uh, referenced the my menu dot ACX and tag prefix is my and tag name is menu now once we have that then what we can do is that we can uh, use the uh, menu control here by using the tag prefix and the tag name and run it equal to server id equal to my uh, menu one or whatever you want to keep and because we have declared two properties category id and category name in the user control so we will be able to access those property here you can see that i'm able to access those properties so i'm writing category id equal to five and category name i'm writing maybe uh, maybe manufacturing now what will happen as soon as this ASPX page will start this much of text will get processed on the server it will go ahead and look for this my menu dot ASCX it will set the value of the category ID and category name properties of this user control to 5 and manufacturing res uh, respectively and when this page load event will fire for the user control it will basically set the text of the label to category id equal to 5 and category name equal to manufacturing so let me run this page and show you how it, it, it looks like so here's my page when this page will render you can see that category id 5 and category name manufacturing is coming in the blue color why because we had specified this LBL message for color equal to blue so this is the way to basically pass the uh, the value from the master page or to the, from the content page to the user control here I have shown passing the value from the content page the same approach you can follow in the master page as well the next how to talk about loading the user control dynamically you might have a scenario where you have three or four different user controls for example you have uh, two uh, you know he header menus one is for the normal user and another is for the administrator and based on the uh, user uh, role who has logged in you want to load the menu control dynamically if user has logged in then you want to display the menu user control uh, that is for the user and if the administrator has logged in then you want to display the menu user control for the administrator so let me first create uh, no, uh, a user control so in this case what we are doing is that we are going to create simply one user control and the same uh, you can you know, replicate in by creating multiple user control also and in this user control what we are doing is that we are going to keep some text here so I have one div and then anchor tag home page 1 page 2 and that's it and let me uh, delete all the code from the code behind because I do not need this code here I have a simple user control I do not have anything however if there will be any code into the code behind also the approach will be similar so in this case we have a user control and there is nothing into the code behind 
Now what we want to do is that we want to load this user control on the ASPX page dynamically. So I'm just going to remove all of them from here, all the references of the user control. And here I'm going to keep a placeholder id equal to placeholder1 run it equal to server this placeholder is required because ultimately you will have to load, uh, place that user control after dynamically loading isn't it so that's why I have kept the placeholder and here I am going to keep the user control now as you can see that to load the user control dynamically you can write this code so here is my code of the uh, code behind for the page where I have written control ctrl is equal to this dot page dot load control and then the path of the user control that you want to load so in my case my user control name is my menu so I will write my menu dot ASX. now what it will do is that it will basically load the uh, the my menu dot ASX user control and save into the and into the control variable and ultimately that control variable we can use you can add it into the placeholder control so you can see that here is my placeholder control and where I am going to add the user control that I have loaded dynamically so what will happen the other all the user control text will get loaded here here so let me run this page so here it uh, here is my page right click view in browser and you can see that all the user control that text that is here is getting loaded in place of this placeholder because that's we have we have done in the code behind of the ASPX page you can see that menu control is being loaded